Hey YouTubers! Uh, hey guys, so for today's video I'm gonna be going from my normal drab wintry look to a more fun just when I'm vacation kind of look. I don't know about you but I have no money to go on vacation in the winter. I usually go somewhere with my family in the summer so I decided that I would try to make it look like I just went on vacation to just kind of give the aura of like yeah I went on a like, tropical vacation over break like what did you do and this is because I haven't gotten scheduled for work at all and I have a lot of free time on my hands for this transformation I was thinking about things that when you see someone who just came back from vacation what you notice first I feel like is if someone is tan or not now I <laughs> don't tan ever. Even in the summer and I'm outside for like six to eight hours a day in the sun, I don't tan. I just sunburn and then I get like a gajillion freckles that you probably can't see on the screen right now. We'll see if it's fun or not. The next thing that I think is important to look like you just came back from vacation is to work out because I know when I go on vacation I usually walk a ton. I like to go on a lot of tours, a lot of hikes, wander around whatever new place I'm in. I feel like when I get back from a vacation, especially if it's somewhere pretty and like outdoorsy, somewhere with beaches, you go swimming too. So I thought that I would do some like leg stuff, a little bit of ab stuff. Then I do a skincare routine that I think will hopefully help with making me look more glowy and refreshed as opposed to having dry sad skin because it is currently 19 degrees out and then I decided to do some summer hair summer makeup stuff that be like oh yeah this is how I did my makeup when I was on the island <laughs> And then the last thing that I'm going to do is to get some outfits that look like stuff that you could have bought for vacation and then brought home and like, oh, guess I have to layer it so that I can wear it when I'm not on the island. Yeah, that's it for what I'm going to be doing in this video. So why don't we just get right to it? Hello there. So hi, Marco. You going to work out with me? Even though I'm including this, it's not like I'm including the workout section, but it's not so that I can be like beach bod because honestly just put on a swimsuit and you're good to go. Right, Marco? Marco, are you gonna do a handstand? Yeah, wait, squats! <laughs> Three. All right, so for my skincare portion, I'm going to be kind of blind because I'm gonna take my glasses off and I have horrible vision. I'm kind of following the like Korean beauty 10 step thing, except I know that my skin would get really overwhelmed if I did all 10 steps every day. First though, I've got this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. I really like this stuff. I got it for the first time in like a Sephora play box thing. I got a little sample size and it smells really like relaxing and fresh, which I love. And I found that it works really well, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my face wet, apply that. So much I'm using, I don't know if it's in focus. It smells like seaweed and like lavender and just like so good. Like it smells like a lush bath moment in like the best possible way. Step three is supposed to be exfoliating, but I just exfoliated my face with my normal exfoliator exfoliator this morning, so I don't want to overdo it with my skin since so I have this little scrubby brush. Then I'm gonna put my Cetaphil cleanser on to kind of give like an exfoliating effect, even though I'm not using an actual exfoliator. Gonna give it a nice gentle pat dry. The next step is toner. I ran out of toner a few months ago and I've just been going without it and I do think it really has been affecting my skin. So today I just went to like CVS and picked up this Burt's Bees Natural Acne Solutions. It's got salicylic acid in it. Just gonna go ahead, do this on. Um, my camera actually stopped recording so I already put this on and I don't wanna redo it because I don't wanna fuck up my skin. So basically what you do is just put like a little bit onto the washcloth, just rub it all over your face, focus in on the spots where you have the worst acne. And then I put on this Tarte Mermaid Skin Serum. Basically when I bought this stuff, because I wanted to buy this and it was in a kit with a little scrub brush, this serum, and then a moisturizer that you will see in a little bit. They were on sale so I bought it as a kit. 
kit, I already did this also after my camera stopped recording. So basically with this, you just take it, sprinkle it on your face. I don't know, you're supposed to do it, I think like a diet science amount. I usually just put it directly on my face and then just rub it all over. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not entirely sure what it does, but it kind of makes my skin feel like smooth. I don't know, but now the fun part. So when I was buying my toner earlier, I realized I was also on a sheet mask. So I picked up this Burt's Bees Hydrating Sheet Mask. I didn't even know that Burt's Bees had skincare until I went to buy the toner. Honestly though, I love that it's natural and this is new. As with most sheet masks, I'm supposed to put this on and leave it on for five to 10 minutes. So I did this really funny face mask the other day that my mom got me like months back and I just kept forgetting that I had it because it was like in my bag for when I traveled, but it looked like a dragon. I'll insert a picture of it. It's pretty ridiculous, but we're so all right, so now I just leave this on for 10 minutes and then I will be back. In about 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this face mask and finish up the routine. Honestly, I like it because it's not like super goopy. Like I feel like that's a problem that I have with a lot of sheet masks that like, you take them off and it's like overwhelming how much is still left on your face and it has to dry. Which I feel like my skin is really red right now. I'm just putting so much shit on it. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a hot second. Okay, so next we're supposed to do like a nice eye cream. So I have this Garnier Clearly Brighter anti puff Eye Roller. It's nice because the tip is like this metal and it feels really nice on my eyeballs. I always use this in the morning too, especially when I'm looking really tired. But it has some sort of serum or something. And now the final step is to use a moisturizer. So if my skin is feeling extra dry, I will use this the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. It smells really nice. It's got like a lemony scent. It looks like this. It's a little bit thicker than what I usually use. So my go-to is this Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15, which is really nice, obviously, because year-round you need to be wearing SPF, not just in the summer, because in the winter, like the rays bounce off the snow or even if it's cloudy out, like there's still some damage that can be done. So because it's winter, I'm using way more than I usually do because my skin is just so dry. My face right now is red and shiny, which is why I only do this like full routine at night. I would never do this like during the day before like going and doing things because a little red, a little irritated. Chloe, but it definitely feels really nice. So in the morning, I like to just do the Cephal one, which is like a water-based cleansing, whatever. And then I will do this moisturizer and the eye cream. And then usually throughout the day, if my skin is feeling dry, I'll do this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It feels really refreshing, really nice. And yeah, it just feels really good when your skin is dry and it just like needs a little, little drink. You don't want to do like a full face wash so you can moisturize. This is really nice. That is it for the skincare portion of this video. And we're on to the next. Yeah. All right, guys. So I was washing my nails and then I realized that I should probably do the fake tan first because I don't want to like get fake tan on my nails. I feel like that would be bad. And since I'm using this like spray stuff, it's not like I'm wearing like a mint or anything. So I really don't want to mess them up because I spent money on that. Basically, this doesn't say that I need to take a shower afterwards, which makes me mild to moderately nervous. In fact, I probably shouldn't shower until like tomorrow. This top is from Airy. First thing that it says to do is cleanse and exfoliate skin, which I did yesterday. All the stuff that I saw online said to exfoliate like 24 hours before. So that's been done. Okay, apply an oil-free moisturizer to any dry areas. When I was looking up stuff online, it said to do, so online it said to do your knees, ankles, feet, elbows, and shoulders, knees, and toes, and your hands, which is probably smart because my hands are real dry in the winter. Okay, all right, I'm gonna just go ahead and start with it now, and we'll just uh, see what happens. All right. Also, you guys are just gonna get this spicy side view. I don't say spicy, I've been watching Best Dress videos too much. Okay, I'll turn back. Oh wow, that smells so good. Oh my god, wow. I guess I just didn't expect it to smell like some sort of beauty product that my grandma would use, but like, I mean that in a good way. All right, so I just finished up 
applying it everywhere. Um, it says it takes two to four hours to develop. I don't see any big immediate changes. My face does look a little bit more alive already, which I love because I'm just so pale all the time. I'm hoping that this will develop into a nice natural looking tan. So I'm just gonna wait for it to dry, throw my bathrobe, probably get dressed in like actual clothes, and then I'll be um, doing my nails. So see you then. Here, hoping that I don't get fake tan on the bed. It feels pretty dry, hence why I put on a nice little baggy t-shirt and some baggy shorts. I'm definitely gonna have like tan lines, which is perfect because I wanna look like I went on vacation. This is the One Step Gel Impress Press On Manicure. Not gonna lie, I saw these because Ava Jules was sponsored by them for a video. But I don't know, I've never used fake press on nails. So we're really just doing a lot of firsts for this video. I feel like we're going on vacation. Oh my wait, there's a bunch of like backup ones. That's so nice. What? That's so awesome. There's so many in here. Is there more than one set? 30 nails. That's three sets of nails. Okay, I thought I was only getting one set and I was like, wow, why did I do that? That was stupid. But now I don't regret it at all. I usually don't have like fun, exciting nails for my day-to-day -day life because I am a lesbian, but I am excited to try this out and see how it looks on me because it's something that I haven't tried before. And I love trying new beauty things. All right, so I just finished doing my nails. I honestly could not tell you how I feel about these. I think they look really, really cute, but I don't really do acrylic nails. I pride myself on keeping my nails really short and this feels weird. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my toenails. I have this nice Opie Infinite Shine 2 Gel Lacor, Lacquer, Gel Lacquer. That's how you say the fucking word. But yeah, it's like a nice red color. I thought that it would go, oh my God, I can do the thing with my nails now where I tap stuff. Oh my God, I need to tap something. Oh my God, is my little calendar. I'm probably gonna end up like trimming them at some point because they're pretty annoying, not gonna lie. But right now they look cute, so I'll leave them on until I do my final look. So now I'm gonna do my toenails and then I'll check back in with you afterwards. I'm bad at doing my nails, which I knew going into this, which is part of the reason why I got the press-ons, but this shit is bad. I'm so not flexible at all, so you can't really see this, but I fucked it up pretty bad. And then I just was like, I'm just gonna go with it so that I can just fix it up later. So my camera stopped recording at this point so basically I just went around my toenails and took off all of the nail polish that wasn't where it belonged which was most of it. Last night I decided to do another layer of spray tan because it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be and it turned out a little bit splotchy in some spots. So right now I'm going to go ahead and take a shower and exfoliate really heavily and hope that that fixes it. So we're out here kids. Oh are you gonna jump on the bed? Yeah. <gasps> Who's a good popper? You're a good popper. Yeah. All right. Hello there. I'm now going to do the makeup portion of the video. So I just, I took a shower this morning. I blow dried my hair. It looks kind of weird. So I'm just going to throw it up in a bun for now because I know I'm going to do it in a minute. So basically the look that I'm going for is just kind of like glowy, pretty, simple makeup look. Um. Also my thumb fell off from my fake nails so I need to put a new one on. I'm gonna start now starting off with primer. I'm gonna be using this Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. I got this as a sample from when I had a subscription to Sephora Play. I'm almost out which I'm sad about because it's great. Looks like that and it smells like lemony which I love and it feels really really nice on the skin so all right, next is going to be foundation. I get really pale in the winter. So in the winter, I have this Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 110. I have my summer foundation, which is this Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I just mix them together because I'm generally, like I was pale enough last winter for this, but then this summer I didn't get quite enough color for this. So I've always just been mixing them. Mix and match, kids. So I just kind of dot it onto my hand like so. And then I'm gonna put just a little pump of this. So in my mermaid skin thing, there are these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops, which are just like really glowy and pretty. So I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of that into the foundation to give me a nice glowy look because that's really what we're going for out here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix those together. Is that gonna be too light? Nah, that's good. All right, so then I'm just gonna kind of rub this all over. 
I don't have my beauty blender in here, so I'm just gonna use my hands. So this is the concealer that I have right now, and it's just some CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. So I'm just gonna start with getting all of my little pimples because, boy gee, do I have a lot of them right now. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is just set my foundation with this Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD Powder. This is another sample. Can you tell that I miss my Sephora um, subscription? I canceled it because I need to stop buying makeup because I own too much. And I honestly don't wear it often enough to justify buying as much as I was. So I'm just kind of rubbing this all over my face. Did I do under my eyes? No, I totally didn't put concealer under my eyes. That's not too conducive of looking like I just went on vacation. So. I just usually dot it because I feel like if I put on too much, it just looks like bad. That's what I personally believe. Now I'm gonna do some bronzer and I really do need to get like some better concealer. I'm thinking about investing in the Shape Tape. I'm like such a little bitch for Tarte. So I've got this Pretty in the USA palette from Benefit. I love this so much. I use this literally every single day, mainly the Hoola bronzer. I'm sure this isn't the proper brush for bronzing, but it's what I've got. So I usually just get some on the side, tap off the excess, and then do a little contour kind of thing. And I do a tiny bit like up on my forehead just to give some color to my face, especially if you're trying to look like you just went on vacation. We already fake tanned, but you can never have enough little bit of schmutz on your face. And I usually just put a little bit here and here because my nose, I don't know. I just feel like I like it, so I do it. And then, not a beauty guru, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I just kind of blend it out a little bit so it doesn't look bad. Next is gonna be highlighter and blush, which I feel like this is extremely important for going for like a glowy look that looks like you just went on vacation. So this is the Tarte True Love Cheek Stain. I am obsessed with this stuff. Honestly, all you need is like two little like boop boops. I just blend that. And then next, I'm gonna go in with this highlighter. It is the Tarte Tartiste Rose Gold Highlighter, I think. As you can see, the packaging is completely worn off, but I just do like a little line of that. I like this highlighter because A, it's liquid, which is cool. Day to day, I'll actually just put this on as like liquid eyeshadow. And it's nice because it's got a little bit of color to it, but then it's also like a good highlighter. Now I'm gonna go in with a this Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Sin. I am fucking obsessed with this stuff. Look at that goddamn pigment. Insanity. Okay, so then I just schmutz up my brush, give it a little tap, and then just, honestly, you just need like one application. Look at this. Do you see this? Is this showing up on camera? I feel like it's showing up from outer space. I love this. I love Urban Decay. I pretty much only buy stuff from Urban Decay during my birthday month because I got this for free. Like I literally did not pay anything for this because this was their birthday perk this year. 10 out of 10 would recommend buying yourself makeup during your birthday month from Urban Decay because look at that. Look at that highlight. Oh my God. Okay, okay. So the next thing is eyes. I'm gonna be using the Naked 3 palette. Here she is. You definitely could use like a cheaper dupe palette. The thing with the Naked palettes is they last literally forever. Like they're an investment. I got this for junior prom. I'm a senior in college and I still have a bunch of it left. You can tell that I travel a lot with it because this one's super broken. But <laughs> just using the brushes. This one is from the Smoky palette and this one is from the Naked Heat palette. I actually don't know where my brush from the Naked 3 palette is, even though that's my literal favorite brush. It's amazing. I don't wanna go for anything like too heavy on the eyes because I feel like that's not very vacation-y. At least when I'm on vacation, I know that I don't do anything super heavy. So I'm just gonna take this Limit shade, the broken one, and just put her all up in there. Oh fuck, I didn't put on eyeshadow primer. So if you're a real person, put on eyeshadow primer, but I'm just boo-boo the fool. So I forgot it, it's fine. I'm literally going nowhere today. I'm just sitting around my house looking cute. So it be like that sometimes, kids, it really do. All right, and then next I'm gonna go in with this shade. I'm gonna mix together Trick and Buzz for like a nice little sparkly thing. And put that on the lid. And then I'm gonna take this Nuna shade and just put that all up in my crease. 
And we're just gonna blend the nooner out into the into the limit. And now I'm gonna grab the this brush from the Naked Heat palette because I feel like I need it. And I'm gonna take some of the trick and just put that right, right there in the middle to give some dimension to my eye or whatever this does. And then I'm just gonna take this and just do one single sweep of the nooner all over my eye just to kind of blend it and make it look not too bright. So that's a kind of natural looking little thing that I got going on. Next is gonna be my liner. All right, so I've got this, oh God, this is literally, this packaging is real gross, but it's the Marc Jacobs Twist Up Pencil Eyeliner Stuff. Love this stuff. I am not good at doing like real eyeliner, so usually I just do like a smudgier kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just lightly line my eye. I am just gonna give it a little, little smudge because I'm bad at eyeliner and that just makes it look a little bit more even. So pro tip if you're bad at eyeliner like me, just smudge it and then it looks a little bit better. So then I'm just gonna do my other eye. Stop recording, I don't know when. Wow, that looks really bad. I love fucking up my eyeliner, it's really, Actually, what I want to do with my whole life is just badly apply eyeliner. Is there a... I think there should be a good job market for this. You know, it's really a niche. It's just badly applying eyeliner and then smudging it with your finger. It's really just... I think that it's my calling. I mean, I just I just do it so often. It just comes so naturally to me, you know? <coughs> so next, I'm just going to go in here with my highlighter from before. This Urban Decay. I'm just going to put a little, little bit on the inner eyes to look like I sleep well. And then a little bit under... The brow art, which reminds me, for the brows. <laughs> I'm also bad at doing my eyebrows. Wow, who would have thought? I'm bad at things. So the first thing that I do is I just kind of brush them a little bit. Then I go in there with this. I have the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. I start usually like in the middle and just kind of do the outside and then work on the inside. This just does hold like a lot of products, so if you have like light eyebrows and you're trying to go darker, this definitely would be good for you. I, however, I don't know my eyebrows on in a while and I try to do them myself and they just don't look nearly as good as they would if I would just shell out like 10 bucks to get them done. Okay, anyways, <laughs> that's just, you know, that's just as good as they're gonna get. They're not great, they're pretty bad actually. Usually I just don't do my eyebrows, but now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I recently... All right. And then I also have like no eyelashes. So I'm gonna layer a couple of different mascaras. I'm gonna start out with this roller lash from Benefit. I really like this stuff. I feel like if you have nice eyelashes already and just need like a little bit of definition, this would be all you need. But that ain't me. So I'm gonna get this. Next I've got this, um, the label's completely rubbed off. I think it's, it's some sort of Urban Decay thing. But it's got this really good brush that I love. And so I'm just gonna go in there next. So I'm just gonna use this Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang shade. This is another sample from Sephora. It's really pretty, I love this shade. I was wearing it during the intro, so you've already seen it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blot it. Pro tip for any sort of mascara, the keys do one coat, heavy blot, second coat, light blot. That is it for this makeup look. So now I'm just gonna do some uh, self-gratuitous posing. I almost forgot something super important. So I've got this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist. It smells so good, so I'm just gonna... And now, we're done. So it is time to do my hair. I showered this morning, I let it air dry as long as possible, and then I blow dried it afterwards. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and section it off minorly. Throw up this top part, get a little man bun action going. So I'm just using this, uh, it's Hot Tools. It's this pretty thing. I think it's from Ulta. I got it for Christmas a few years back. It's nice because it's got this little thing. So while it's heating up, I can just chillax. This is not my brush, this is my dad's brush, but we're just gonna go ahead and that. So this is the heat protector that I'm going to use because I left my normal stuff at school. This is, you guessed it, a sample from Sephora. It is the Moroccan oil prevent and protect and prevent spray color complete. So I'm just 
just gonna spritz a couple drops of that on the bottom. I don't love this stuff because it makes my hair feel kind of oily, which obviously you don't really want. But I'm just gonna start, this is like an inch barrel and it's tapered, which is really nice because it makes the curls look really natural. So I'm just gonna start by going in here, holding it for like 10 seconds and then just letting it go. Once these are all done, I'm gonna like brush through my hair with my hands so that it looks more natural, but this is what I've got going for now. So yeah, just kind of go in like opposite directions to give it like a more natural, like I just came out of the waves on the island sort of look. up with the curling. Now I'm just gonna go in and kind of brush it out with my fingers. It's been about over a year since the last time that I curled my hair, so that's why I uh, am not as good as it as I wish I was. If you have long hair, the easiest way to get nice beachy waves is to just put your hair up into a ponytail and just curl the sections that are in the ponytail and when you take it down, this is like, it takes like a third of the time that it does to do like this whole process and it looks really nice. So a nice like gentle wave thing going on i really like this so i'm gonna go get my outfit on hey there so my camera did not focus for all of my try on clip portions so just keep that in mind with this part you can still see the colors like just basic silhouettes and so that's what i got <laughs> Of being a high quality YouTuber. The island version of this outfit is this little wrap dress that I got from Everlane and to winterify it I added a nice little mock neck underneath and then my coat on top for some added warmth. Next ensemble doesn't have a summery version so it's just an all white outfit to emphasize the tan. This summer outfit is just this plain little corduroy skirt with a cute little crop top. And the first winter version is this little white mock neck sweatshirt to add some warmth, also a coat. The second version of this is with this sweater that I was wearing in the intro and a little mock neck turtleneck underneath. This is just a simple t-shirt dress that I added a cardigan to so that it would be more winter appropriate and warmer. So my outro was completely out of focus, just like my last clips, so I decided to re-film it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's the first thing that I've done like this ever, so I hope that you liked it. If you did, you should definitely comment below, say what other transformations you guys want to see next. I think the tan really made a difference, and if I showed up to my first day of class in one of the outfits I was wearing with my hair and makeup done like that, I think that it would give some sort of at least subconscious impression that I had gone on vacation. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to this end of the video, then you should leave down below what your dream vacation would be. Mine is probably like the south of France. All right, so thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social medias that are all linked in the description and uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Beyonce? Yeah, yeah.